We're back, we're here. We're at the cooking show. <laughs> and we're making fish and chips today. I don't think I actually ever had fish and chips until I moved to New Zealand. I lived in New Zealand for seven years. I moved eight different times, and every time I had to get fish and chips, that's the one time I would allow us to have fish and chips because it's so heavy and would sit in me so much. We're gonna make our batter first, okay? The one I'm gonna do is equal parts cornstarch and all-purpose flour, which I already have in there. Into our batter, we're gonna add salt and baking powder, okay? As you can tell, I'm bundled up for winter still because I got a bad haircut and I don't wanna show it. And yeah, I gave up on life and I'm wearing sweatpants because you know what? It's coronavirus season and everyone's working from home except me because I have to be here in the kitchen. And if everyone else can wear sweatpants and work some sweatpants at home, I can come into the office and wear sweatpants because this is my home now, okay? I'm quarantined here. Okay, so into our batter, we're gonna add salt. I'm gonna put in a little bit of black pepper, like a half a teaspoon or so. And we're gonna add in a combination of dark beer and sparkling water. The reason I'm using equal parts cornstarch and flour is that cornstarch will make this a little bit lighter as well as using sparkling water. That's why tempura batter is so light. So I'm gonna do that, but then you know, you think of fish and you think of beer batter. So I'm adding in some beer as well. Sicily, by the way. I'm using a darker beer because it's a bit maltier and that is gonna add nice flavor to this fish dish. I'm not drinking for the next month because Cliff, our executive producer, bet me that I couldn't and I'm all for a bet. So, I'm not drinking. You should drink. There's extra beer here. Anyone here want this? Nora, come here, you want this? Sicily. Sure. Come on over, come on over. Nora is our apprentice here and you are of age 21. But Sicily, have a drink. They're gonna be here all episode in the back drinking. Sicily it up. Oh, it's 9.49 in the morning. <laughs> Whatever. Our batter is ready. I'm going to chill this for like a half an hour because using a cold batter is gonna make it lighter. When it hits the hot oil, it just kind of really explodes. We're gonna refrigerate this. And now we're gonna work on our potatoes. Fish and chips was my moving meal. It was like the takeout you got after you've been packing and moving all day and settling into your new place, you get fish and chips. In New Zealand, they say, fish and chips. And in Australia, they go, oh, fish and chips. That's whenever people are like, oh, Australians and Kiwis sound exactly like. I apologize, first of all, to all of the Australians and the Kiwis out there, because I'm butchering the accent, and I'm not saying I'm an expert in it by any means. I just, I do love the accent. So don't comment below, please. I <laughs> don't. <laughs> I love your accents. And I know I'm not very good at accents. I mean, everyone always is making fun of my accent. I had to order food. I was the head chef of this restaurant and I would call and I'd be like, oh, I need to order two bunches of basil and two pounds of tomatoes. And they're like, what? And I'd be like, two bunches of basil and three pounds of tomatoes. You know, like they literally, I'm like, you understand what I'm saying when I'm saying tomatoes and basil, but. When we were in um, Italy, I remember we were asking someone, we were like, is there a telephone? We were, when we were in Rome, not in Rome. Oh, Sicily. <laughs> Sicily, drink. Nora, there you go. I was, I was in Rome. But we needed a telephone, and my sister was like, telephone, telephone. And then the people were like, oh, and she's like, telephono? And they're like, oh, telephono. Like, really? You don't, like, it's so, it's a little cheeky. Like, I get it, but also, like, come on. Oh, this is gonna be my dry batter for later. I might as well just do it. For the fish, the rest of the flour, so another half a cup of flour, and a little bit of salt, because I'm gonna use this also for my fish. I'm gonna do it in the dry, and do it in the wet, put it in the oil, cook it on up. I feel like I'm at home right now. I am, this, I basically live here now. I'm quarantined to the kitchen with this coronavirus. All right, I'm cutting the potatoes about half an inch or so thick, but just be aware that if you're gonna cut them your own size, if you make them smaller than this, you make them bigger than this, they'll take different times in frying. So. so you can soak them in cold water or rinse them and that helps crisp them up and stuff. I think this is an easier recipe to be quite honest, because what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna boil these for about three minutes and then I'm going to double fry them. I'm gonna fry them once at a low temperature and I'm gonna fry the fish at a low temperature too. When I say low, I mean like 350 degrees and then I'm going to bring up the temperature to like 400 and flash fry them so they're crispy again. Easy peasy beautiful fish and chips. Okay, so potatoes go into the water. Salted water. Okay, these are just boiled. We're gonna dry these off completely. So that initial boil, let me just also take the starch off a little bit. Also, I cooked it in salted water, so it flavored them a little bit, because we know that potatoes are absorbing that water. Where did I put my recipe? Did you take it? Guys, this is so crazy. <laughs> I know, I think I put it somewhere. Did I put it in the fridge? Is it under the tray? I think it is. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> How did it get there? You put your shit on top of it. What? That doesn't even make sense. No way. I think I think the only one person knows right now, and it's whoever's editing this. Let's cut that, okay? No need. No need for that. Sicily. Drink it. Always an adventure here in the Munchies Test Kitchen. All right, we're gonna do this in like two batches probably. Washing my hands. 20 seconds. All right. Those are gonna live right there. Uh, I'm gonna get my fish out. So I'm just using cod. You can use any fish you want though. Usually like a nice white kind of flaky fish is customary. You can see down the middle, that's where the bones are. It's where the bloodline is usually. I'm gonna cut it right along that. I like kind of like about two inch pieces that you can pick up and get in there, okay? So I'm gonna cut it like that. I'm gonna cut them a little bit smaller. Fish are done. My oil is at temp. I got my batter made. I'm going to fry my fish. You can use the same oil for this. I'm gonna season my fish a little bit. Just a little bit of salt. Remember, one hand dry, one hand wet. Away you go. Make sure you coat it all the way. I'm still frying at 350. Okay, there's a trick to getting this in the oil. Wave it in the oil slightly, and it kind of sets a little bit of the oil, and then it won't stick to the bottom. We'll set the batter, and then drop it in. You know, it's gonna be a bit lighter in here. It's almost like a combination beer batter and tempura batter. So it's gonna come out light, the fish is gonna be flaky, it's gonna be crispy. That can come out. That's gonna be delicious. Woo. And we're just frying them to get them a nice golden color, because then we're gonna flash fry them again at just to finish them. Now we're just going to raise the temperature of this up to 400 degrees. Now we're gonna fry our potatoes again, okay? Be careful as you drop everything in there. And these are gonna fry for another three minutes until they're crispy. We got some malt vinegar. We got some ketchup, some tartar sauce. We're gonna slice up some lemons. Highly recommend lemons, highly recommend vinegar, highly recommend tartar sauce. Do not recommend at all whatsoever ketchup. I hate ketchup, but you can use it. We're putting it in here because I love you guys and maybe you want ketchup and also probably look cute for the picture. So, just gonna cut some little wedges in here. Look at this. Oh, these are nice and crispy coming. Look at them. I'm gonna take these out. They're looking beautiful. Just shake them out into an even little layer. We're gonna season them all over. Sicily. Good job, Nora. All right, fish is getting refried real quickly. And it wouldn't be fish and chips without newspaper. It absorbs all the oil and then you wrap it up in there and stuff. Woo. We're gonna season this. We're ready to have our fish and chips feast, mate. Ooh, it's hot. She hot. She hot. She hot. She hot. Woo. Ah. We got some lemons. I'm gonna squeeze this extra little boy on top. A little bit of vinegar on my fries. I'm gonna eat this piece right here because it looks so beautiful. Now with some tartar sauce. Oh, it's so crunchy, it's hot, it's light. See, I couldn't eat fish and chips except for once a year when I was moving all the time because it just sits in you and weighs you down. This feels a lot lighter. Oh, and the fries need to be, I'm gonna dip it in the, in the ketchup. No, I can't do it. Mmm, <laughs> they're so good and I love, oh, I just did it. <laughs> that was so weird. Uh, it's like my body actually wants me to do it. Well, Make some fish and chips. Click the link below for the recipe. Hashtag cook munchies. Don't get coronavirus. Sicily. Goodbye. <laughs>